let me show you how easy it is to put together a drum track using Drums on Demand. So I've already chosen the song set I'm going to use. This one's called Snappy Shuffle. It's at 100 beats per minute. When you open a song set and look in it, you'll see at the very top what we call master loops. And these are the basic, the very most basic groove of the song. Usually the chorus and the verse are up there. This one's got the chorus, the verse, and the, and the bridge. And then you'll see below it, you'll see listed all the other elements of that, uh, of that song set. This one's got uh, bridge, chorus, ending, bunch of fills, interlude, intro, and a bunch of other things. Here's the master loop. I'll audition that. Now that's the, that's the basic feel of the chorus. But we know we don't want to start the song that way. We're going to start with an intro. So we'll go down here to the eyes. H-I-J-K-I. Here's the intro. And we'll audition that. It's kick and hat. That's a nice mellow feel for the intro. So we'll drag that up. Stick it in. Two bars of that. Now I want the intro to vary a little towards the end of it. It's going to be a four-bar intro, so I'll use the intro alt. And alt, if I have the intro, the intro alt is the same basic feel, except there's something a little bit different. You'll note that the intro is just kick, kick hat, kick hat. And the alt, which stands for alternate, has got a little variation in the hi-hat pattern at the end of it. So that'll lead us into the verse. Now the verse for this song, I think we're going we're gonna to want to use the verse rim which is the, the backbeat played on the, on the side stick rather than the snare. There it is, verse rim. The next two bars, we're going to use verse rim alt again, or the alternate, so it's not just the same. A drummer's not going to play the same thing over and over again. A drummer's not a drum machine. Now, to vary that one more time for the next two bars of our verse, which is going to be an eight-bar verse, I'm going to grab the first verse rim again. So we don't have any, the, each two bars, there's something a little bit different. Now, coming out of the verse, we're going to get a verse, we're going to get a fill. So we've got a bunch of verse fills. I'm going to grab this verse rim fill, which will take us out of the verse and into the chorus. Let's hear it. So rim, oh, and then there's a snare. Now the snare brings the energy up. Uh, into the chorus. Now I'm going to go up to the chorus here. Now after, after that fill, generally after a, a fill that has a certain amount of energy, we're going to want to have a crash. So I'll go up here in the choruses, look for chorus, chorus ride, chorus ride, chorus ride, crash. There it is. And we'll take that loop, stick it in here right after the fill, and see what that sounds like. Good. There's a crash on the downbeat. And that transfers the energy of the fill down into the chorus and lets us come out of that with, uh, with a smooth transition. The next two bars of the chorus are going to want to be just the straight ahead chorus ride, which is up here in the master loops. And we'll put that in. So strict chorus. Chorus, chorus crash into the chorus. And then halfway through the chorus, it's going to be eight, an eight bar chorus. Halfway through the chorus, I think I want to have another chorus crash, but not the same. Here's a chorus ride crash too, and this is a different, Todd played a different cymbal, so it's not exactly the same. Again, it's not like a drum machine. And then finally coming out of the chorus, let's go chorus ride fill. I'm looking for a fill that's going to be kind of busy, because we're going to want to come out into the, and this is going to be the end of our little song here, so I'm going to listen to this fill right here, chorus ride fill two. Got a very satisfying, very satisfying tom fill on the end of it. So we'll drag that in. And at the end of that tom fill, we're going to need something to bring us back down to an ending. So to do that, I'm going to go down here to endings. And this uh, song set has got a couple of different ones. This is the one I want right here, though. As you can hear it's just a crash, which sounds kind of lonely all by itself. But when you stick it on the end of this fill, crash. That's how easy it is to put together a song in Drums on Demand.